The Package and Sign feature in Access 2007 is used to attach a digital certificate to the database here to verify that whoever you're sending it to, that you're the source, you're actually who you are. Because we wouldn't want to open up a database from somebody we didn't trust, right? Because it has all this coding that could shut down or destroy our computer. Also, it'll compress all the objects within the database so it's a lot smaller. And it's going to compress it and convert it into a .accdc file. Now again, this is an extension. If you don't know much about extensions and want to learn more, you can watch my Windows Vista Level 1 training video. But first of all, before we can even use the package and sign feature, we have to create a digital VBA certificate or Visual Basic application. For example, if I go ahead and try to package and sign it now, clicking on the Office logo, come down to Publish and say Package and Sign, click on it, it says here what certificate do you want to use? Well, I haven't created one, so without one created, I can't go ahead and click OK and continue. So I'm going to close out and create that certificate. To create it, go ahead and click on your Start button for Windows Vista, and then go to All Programs, scroll down to where you can find Microsoft Office, click on that, and then go down to Microsoft Office Tools, click on that, and there it is, Digital Certificate for VBA. Or a shortcut is coming down in here, well, let me close out. Click on Start, and down in the Start Search, just type in Digital. And then you can see, before I even finish typing, it's up at the top, Digital Certificate for VBA. Click on it. Go ahead and give it a name of the certificate. We'll call it Kurtz Secure DB. And then click OK. It says it created it successfully. Go ahead and click OK. Now we're ready to package and sign this database. Click on the Office logo button. Come down to Publish. Click on Package and Sign. And there it is. There's the certificate. So now with my certificate selected, I can go ahead and click OK then it's going to prompt me to go ahead and save this new database or this conversion to the ACCDC extension. I'm going to put it on my desktop and click Create. Let me go ahead and close out of my database here. Close out of the Exercise folder. You can see a little certificate that's attached to it, that little red ribbon. Let's go ahead and double click and open it up. It gives me a little security warning that says, look, I'm not sure I can trust this. First of all, let me add this disclaimer. Remember that VBA certificate that we created? It's a self-signed certificate. In other words, it only attains the name of the certificate, nothing else for authentication. So if you just have one way to authenticate something, it doesn't seem very secure, does it? So instead of doing self-signed certificates, you may want to search online and find a certified certificate authority or CCA to be able to offer you more options. You can really validate that this database here is really from the person they say they are. So I can go ahead and open it up or click on Trust All from this publisher. So I can click on Trust All. And notice that it pops back open. And the reason why it does is because it wants to convert it from the compressed ACCDC file and open it back up into its normal database file extension, ACCDB. So it's saying, look, go ahead and extract, as you can see here, this compressed file on somewhere on your, let's say, desktop here. And I'm fine with the file name, so I can click OK and it opens up and I can start viewing the database. When I close out of it on the desktop, I have the signed certificate, ACCDC, and then when I open it up, it wanted to decompress it or extract it into an ACCDB database file. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.